Good morning everyone, heading out to work. These vlogs are, are getting um, a little bit too much just because I, I'm an ordinary guy trying to vlog um, and it's not very exciting when you're, you don't have much going on, you know. I go to work every day. I work most exciting thing about work is what I am gonna eat for lunch because I started exploring around town different kinds of foods a restaurant on what to eat because I don't really get to try new foods my wife uh, doesn't particularly like to explore uh, she's super picky about her taste in food so there's things she likes and that's how she likes it she'll try new things but every time she does she makes a face like what the fuck did I just put in my mouth so that's the kind of face she makes and so it's whenever I make suggestions she makes that face too because she doesn't you know, it doesn't interest her she doesn't like it very much uh, so I started exploring restaurants and new areas and things on my own during lunch recently the past few months so I've gotten to eat at different restaurants around town and that's probably the most exciting thing for me uh, about my day uh, other than you know little projects around the house here and there that I can vlog about and put up on YouTube but because I get so focused on work that's why I do a lot of time lapse uh, when I do projects and things because I for once I get into something I forget to stop and pause and vlog and talk about it a little bit uh, as I progress through the process so that's why I do time lapse because it's uh, you know you can see from start to finish what I've done um, and have a sense on what I try to figure out because most most of the projects and things that I do are on a whim uh, there's very little planning on what I do like my drum barrel um, I didn't even know that I was going to do a drum smoker until I bought one. Uh, I saw on face, uh, what it, Facebook Marketplace that uh, someone was selling uh, 55 gallon drum barrels for $10 uh, for one barrel. And it didn't even come with the lid. But I was like, I could use that. You know, I mean, my parents use... Uh, barrel cookers for a long time to put grates or whatever on top um, and uh, it works well for them but I wanted to use it as a smoker so I started uh, searching on YouTube 55 gallon drum smoker so once uh, I figured found that out it brought me to ugly drum smokers and then I did a little bit more research and I was like, oh, this is exactly what I need. An ugly drum smoker it contains the heat. What it does is uh, it's fully contained, so there's very little airflow. That's how drum smokers work. Um, and you put a basket inside to hold the charcoal, and as the charcoal burns off, ashes falls to the bottom so that you always get uh, a, a nice layer of charcoal burning instead of you know, ashes on top. Just piling on top of the charcoal which will eventually um, drown it out and stop it from burning so that's how I started my drum smoker I bought it I wanted to use it uh, as a some kind of barbecue uh, item started searching on YouTube of a drum smoker and then at that moment once I saw it, I was like this is what I need I'm gonna buy it buy the equipment and start building it 
So when I do projects on a, around the house or you know projects that I want to do, it's on a whim. It's uh, never planned in stages and phases. Like, okay, so like if if I actually planned this, I would I would have researched about ugly drum smoker first, and then bought a and then you know research about how long and how much effort it actually takes to do one because. Even though it looks easy to burn a drum barrel, a 55 gallon drum barrel, it, uh, it takes a lot of fire to actually burn off paint, the paint, the uh, original paint. Um, and you know, now that I've gone through it, I should have just bought uh, a non-painted uh, 55 gallon drum smoker that's metal online and uh, there's people that, there's, uh, companies online that sells them for like 50 bucks I've seen them but I was like I bought these for 10 bucks it'll be easy well shit burning it wasn't that easy and also I live in a, a residential area so it's uh, you know if it gets too hot uh, somebody might call the fire department because there's too much smoke so I didn't you know just if I lived out on uh, in uh, on a farm or a ranch or something, yeah, I would have lit that up and uh, you know as much fires as I needed to burn off the stuff. But it takes a lot of heat to burn off those things, and as ashes pile on the bottom of the 55 gallon drum smoker, the bottom stops burning because there's just a ton of ashes down there, and you need really high heat to burn it off. Now, I could have used a propane torch to torch around it, but I didn't have one. My parents do have one, but I didn't want to wait to get go get it. So, like I said, there's no planning. If I plan, didn't do the research properly, I would have um, bought a 55-gallon drum smoker that would have been already... You know, it's it was like bare metal. All I had to do was buy high heat paint, spray paint it inside, coat the and then coat the inside with cooking oil just to get it going. Uh, do a few burns just to season the inside of the smoker, and then once that's done, uh, I would uh, you know start uh, you know making the holes for the pipes, and then the lid would you know, I would drill out the lid and make all my vents and things and you know that would have been that would have been it it would have been easy but I wouldn't have realized that or learned from uh, my experience unless I did these things so you know even though I do things on a win I learn a lot from doing things on a win because and you won't learn anything if you don't try so you have to try in order to learn you know it's uh, you can read all the books or uh, watch all the videos in the world but until you actually try to do those things you won't actually uh, identify and realize how hard it is and even though you watch all sorts of YouTube videos do all these kind of research and you're like yeah I got it I got it once you start building whatever you you want to build uh, there's just things that people don't talk about because there's you know you, you can't capture it all I'm not really sure where I was going with this video oh yeah so I, I yeah I remember now um, so I you know my life is pretty ordinary unless I do those things and you know like I said I do those things on a whim so when I do things on a whim it's difficult to record and try and figure out how to do those things because I'm so focused on building whatever I need to build that I forget to vlog about that's why I do time lapse well I think that's uh, all the talk I have for today so like comment subscribe let me know what you think if you have any questions about my drum smoker I'll answer anything you want peace